So let's head into Charles's room, see what we can find in there. I still have to figure out how to um, blah, how, what? Whoa! How to uh, what the hell? How to book some games? What, is it, what am I talking about? I need to find out where that thing was. Built. Mangas, games, DVDs, totally matching Charles's shyness. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, ooh. Haha. <laughs> X-Files. I, want, I want to believe. I guess Charles has an interest in sci-fi. Yes, you're right. What game is he playing? Is this like an Elder Scrolls game? I don't know. Let's look in his drawer. Nothing of interest in there. Okay, let's pick up his sock. Let's look in his hamper. What console is this? Is that a console? Is it, look at that joystick. That's a sweet ass joystick. Oh, look at that. He's got a Space Invader figure. Oh, that's cool. I like that. He's a nerd. Hey, this doesn't look anything like Charles. And it's dated just one year ago. Oh my god. So he was a fat nerd with pimples. Cool. Is that his mom? He's got a hot mom, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we let's call. Oh, we can call Charles's his mom. Charles's mom's number. I should save her number in my cell phone. It might come in handy someday. Yeah, we can date her. Totally. Uh. Could Charles Eddington be using someone else's identity? I better take this along as evidence. No, he's just you know, lost a lot of weight. You can, it, it's clearly he's still this shy nerd. This, the whole fat kid guy with a lot of games. Wow, stereotypical. But yeah, he he was like he he was like maybe a little choppy and got bad skin. So he was very you know shy and uh, not really that um, uh, what's it called self. Uh, confident so he started playing a lot of games and watch a lot of movies and collect figures and manga and stuff like that and, and and that doesn't go away just because you lose some weight i mean he's not just gonna find confidence because his looks are changed. wow he really is a nerd wait because of junk food wow stereotypical but yeah you you you, you don't just change because of I mean, that's a, the, that's really one of the worst advices anybody ever give you, that you change because you change your appearance. No, you're still going to be the same. It, it, you won't get a, a boost in self-confidence just because you lose weight. Maybe you did you get a little bit, but you're not going to change. If you like video games, you're going to continue liking video games. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Oh right! Ooh, a brain. Oh, he's got a pause. What game is that? That looks amazing. It really do it does. It's an issue of Scientific American, with an article by Dr. Stiles. But Charles Ooh. acted like he'd never heard of Dr. Stiles. He sure had me fooled. Wait, he could have bought this since. You're jumping to conclusions, lady. Let's not jump to conclusions. He started working for Dr. Stiles. He could have bought this. I mean, it lo it. It looks like this is might be new. I mean, it's still out. It's not like it's in a pile of magazines. This could have just been bought. What's the date? Can we see the date? No. But yeah, you're jumping to conclusions. First, the whole thing about him not looking like his picture. Now this. I mean, come on, lady. Get with the program or something. I guess we... Uh, We've done everything we anything uh, speaking. I do it well. We've done everything we can do in here. And my foot's asleep. Let's uh, head back to. Uh, let's go down to Helena. She will probably need to know this. But yeah, I think he just lost a lot of weight. Maybe he. Maybe because he. He was started at the university, and maybe he he wants to like. A new a change in his life, and he wanted to be another person because maybe he he didn't really like the person he was not that being choppy is anything wrong with that but I, 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 I think a lot of people can't see that a lot of people do seem to think that 
a lot of their personality is in the appearance. And that's not true, but that doesn't really help. It's... You can't... Because... Yeah. Hey. I found this in Charles's room. Oh my god! This is priceless! It doesn't wow. look anything like him. And the date on the back is just one year ago. I think Charles is an imposter. No. Please! I recognize the mole on his neck. Lovely mole. <laughs> of course, it was a bit less lovely at the time. Lovely. No one can change that much in a year. Maybe it's a younger brother. If Charles had a record, he wouldn't want to register under his own name. One word. Hormones. This is definitely Charles. And if he looked like this a year ago, then he probably really is a virgin. <laughs> God, I feel faint. Wow. Can I keep this? Um. No, I might need it as evidence. Evidence oh. of what? Ugly duckling syndrome? Hmm, what a twist. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Jumping to conclusions. Don't do it. It's a bad thing. A lot of people, people seem to be jumping to conclusions constantly. I hate that. I don't know. Let's, uh, we still need to figure out how to... Well, there's a lot of things we need to figure out still, actually. We need to figure out how to get into that guy's office, Linkwello. And we also need to figure out where the Harry Potter franchise was shot. We need to figure out where Harry Potter was shot and killed. Uh, wait, did I just go... Ow, oh, I went up. Oh yeah, I didn't need to go that way. The exit is down here. Yeah, like I said, never really been a big fan of Harry Potter. Or a lot of the rings. I don't know, I, I like a different kind of fantasy. I guess. Harry Potter is too much... Oh yeah, let's uh, just invent a lot of silliness for the sake of inventing a lot of silliness. And a uh, lot of the rings is too much epic. That's grand battle and stuff like that. And both of those things, I don't really like that much. I liked Willow. Well, that was a good fantasy movie. And Legend. And uh, Labyrinth. Uh, the Princess Bride. Stuff like that. Oh, so you're not supposed to talk to... Uh, Doctor, what's his face? No, M Mr. Philippidibus. I thought we were going to talk to him about the movie. Okay. But we still have something to do here. I don't get what, though. I'd also hope that we'd had, had a lot more to do in uh, the museum. Pieces oh, of gold for Sea Railer Swole. I need to find more pieces. I already turned this. Also, when you get a new puzzle, it reverts itself. That's annoying. I hope this doesn't uh, revert itself. Let's actually check it out. Pieces of gold for Sea Railer Swole. Well, I need to find more pieces. It doesn't revert, go uh, separate, but it turns around for some reason. Now we need to. Yeah. We need to get Linkwell out of his office. But how? I think you can press space and I can see everything I can do anything with. Susan's phone. Ah. Oh. Linkwella. It's a phone list for the department. Well, his, his number's not there. Oh, here we I go. I should put the neurobiology department's phone number into my cell phone directory. Ah. I can't put in extensions, though, so I'll have to remember the one I want. Oh, yeah, Linkwella. Eleven. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So Linkwella's number extension is eleven. So let's, um, let's get rid of that, actually. Let's head into the employees only. Just so that we are hidden. Let's use our phone and call Linkwella. That's our phone, that's our phone. Do, 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 do. How do I get into numbers? Here we go. Contacts. Oh yeah, it's a real phone. You can't. It's not a touchscreen phone. Oh wait, what? There's no contacts. 
Oh. Wait. No. What that what the hell? Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh da 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 Sissy da da Red Hill Wait. Where's um What? Red Hill Where's the phone number? Uh, is that it? Call. Call. No reason to call there at the moment. Okay, but why didn't it? I, I thought it said I would get the phone number in my contacts. I didn't though. What the poop is going on? Poop, poop, poop. And my foot is still asleep, by the way. Just FYI for your information. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I should put the neurobiology department's phone number. I can't put in extensions though, so I'll have to remember. Oh, do I need to actually do this? Oh. There. Okay. Makes sense. And eleven. Okay. Cool. Do 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 do. Bye, Susan. Have a nice one. Uh. I guess. Okay. Let's call. Linkwella and tell him that his ass is on fire and when he runs to the toilet to put out his ass because that's where you put out your ass then we go in okay now we should have the contacts okay uh aha neurological department or whatever not here i must be more close to linkweller's office to sneak in quick well yeah, but if you're right outside, you look rather suspicious, don't you think? Jesus Christ, my plan was better. We could, like, stand at the door and look. Look at this, it. Oh, there's a girl with a phone out here. I wonder if she's the one who called me. Okay, let's do this again. It's annoying you can't go up. Normally, phones have you go up because it's in the bottom. So it'd be faster to go up. Aha! Uh -huh. Eleven. You have reached the Oxford Neurobiology Department in the Radcliffe Infirmary. If you know the extension you wish to reach, please enter it at this time. I do! Linkweller speaking. Aha! Uh -huh. Headley wants to see you. Package requires signature. This is Susan. Uh, well, he'll be able to hear it's not Susan. And Heatley wants to see you. Well, isn't that Susan's boss? Pack package requires signature. I don't want to have anything to do with this package. Mr. Headley wishes to see you. Immediately. Well, what is it now? Oh, never mind. I'm on my way. Oh, yeah. Wait, if he's just going in right next door, wouldn't that be like, you know... Oh, and... Now I go in there? Ah, oh, that's so stupid. That's, ah. Uh, that's rather stupid. I mean, I just went in there myself. But no, I no, no. I won't have long in here. I need to hurry. I wonder if you actually need to hurry. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Books, apparently. I don't have time to search through these. I have to hurry. Oh, sorry. Computer. Yeah, let's use the computer. That's a screen, apparently, not a computer. <laughs> I'd like to browse his computer, but I'm afraid it'll take too long. Then what? The, uh, oh, phone. Linkweller's phone. Wouldn't I love to be a fly on the wall and overhear his conversations? Oh. We have a microphone. Do, do, do. This is an El Cheapo device, only working for incoming calls. But I think I know... Yeah, me too. I don't know. Here we go. Put it in the phone. That's not bad. Uh -oh. That should work. Linkweller's coming now. Back. We'll see what Linkweller's up to. Whoa! <laughs> cross talking. Actually, cross talking from one person. That's very impressive. I wish I could do that. Like just speak over myself. Aha! We did it. Nice. 